two hurt little boys, one huge selfish city. Just one of the calls we receive each day. And there are many, many more. Almost four million calls to date from city streets and village corners across India. Each call carries its own tale of survival and neglect. We've had children call in because they're lost, injured, being beaten up, or even being bitten by dogs as they sleep on the pavement. We've had a call from parents of a traumatized child who broke into an epileptic fit every time a car parked outside their ground floor home. A hospital called us when they saw a child so maggot-ridden that even a doctor wouldn't attend to him. Children on the streets call us when they see one of their own dying. And sometimes kids just call to see if we pick up the phone. Once the phone rings, our immediate priority is to reach that child. We are not here to preach or to reform kids, just to help them in their moment of need. The United Nations says that children everywhere, without discrimination, have the right to survival, to develop to the fullest, to protection from harmful influences, abuse and exploitation, and to participate fully in family, cultural and social life. But in this day and age, when most people hardly care for each other, Expecting complete strangers to care for the rights of a child on the street sounds pretty utopian. But we try. Childline is not just an organization. It's a movement that needs help from every available government agency across India. And this is not easy. It's a long drawn out effort to try and sensitize them towards the importance of ensuring kids their basic rights. We've spent hours and days and months trying to reach out to local municipal hospitals, shelter homes, child welfare committees, the media, state education departments, the police force, public transport authorities, corporates, bilateral and multilateral agencies like UNICEF, and of course, the phone department, who ensure that a call made to 1098 reaches us across the country 24 hours a day. But we haven't achieved all this alone. The movement that we called Childline is, at the end of the day, a series of small collective attempts in partnership with street-level voluntary organizations across India. Not restricted to taking calls alone, we ensure help reaches kids wherever they are for as long as they need it. And this movement is held together by the CIF, the Childline India Foundation. The CIF coordinates in tandem with NGOs across 54 cities to help pool resources, to give them governmental support, and most importantly, to ensure that kids get their rights, their simple, basic little rights. It's been seven years now. We've helped thousands. But there's millions that we haven't. Sometimes because there are not enough centers, and sometimes because they're not located in the right places. We know all this because it's the children who tell us, at open house meetings and discussions that we often hold with them. For them, 1098 is not just a number. It represents a soothing smile, a reassuring hug, and a voice that listens. In fact, Many of the children that we have helped become an integral part of Childline itself, taking calls from other children, helping them in the same way that they were helped. And like them, we keep on trying. But expecting them to call us all the time is not enough. There are times you can call too. It's a simple number, 10, 9, 8. And it's free. And believe us, it does make a difference.